The U.S. uses about 100 billion plastic bags a year. And the average person uses between 350 and 500. So the numbers are pretty big. Plastic bags are photodegradable, the opposite of biodegradable. They break down into tiny little pieces and get into the soil and water supply. But they also attack Coral Gables' vast marine life. A million birds and 100,000 turtles die each year from ingesting plastic bags. Before plastic bags were on the radar, polystyrene, commonly known as styrofoam, was identified as being unable to fully break down. In 2016, Coral Gables passed an ordinance banning styrofoam. We first said the city will not purchase polystyrene. So we will not purchase styrofoam cups for coffee, for example. And then we said, okay, businesses, uh, you can't use polystyrene in your takeout containers as cups, etc. At about the same time, the state of Florida passed a law that said styrofoam bans can't be enforced by local municipalities. Coral Gables was grandfathered in and began enforcing the ban anyway. They were then sued by an organization of retail stores and restaurants. The lawsuit said that the state's new law prohibiting styrofoam bans was enough to stop Coral Gables. But just in case, they also cited a law from years earlier preventing plastic bag bans. And that is how the styrofoam lawsuit opened the door for the plastic bag ban, which was passed on May 10th of 2017. What we first got was a lot of questions from residents saying, wait, am I, if I'm walking down the street with a plastic bag, can I be fined? Uh, if I'm at a park with a plastic bag, can I, or if I'm at a park with a styrofoam cup. Neither of these ordinances are meant to uh, fine personal use. They're meant to not allow stores, restaurants, boutiques, etc to use those products. Fines begin at $50, but can grow up to $1,000 for multiple violations. While Coral Gables is the first in Florida to ban plastic bags, it isn't the first in the country. Most of California is bagless, both plastic and paper. And even here in Florida, reusable bags are becoming more and more common. Reporting from Coral Gables, I'm meteorologist Steve McLaughlin for NBC6.